Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I just hop on, hopped on to Photoshop here, and we actually have the AI stuff, which I'm super excited to look at. Um, most of this stuff I'm gonna have to download, so um, it won't be like real time, like figuring stuff out. But um, I'm just learning like what everything is. So, generative fill beta, the new suite. Kid Builders in the Photoshop app enables you to add, extend, or remove content from your images non-destructively using simple text prompts. Okay, I really don't like text prompts. I actually have to think when I make those. Like on ChatGBT, sometimes it's like rewording, which is kind of annoying. Um, adjust presets, easily preview and apply complete image adjustments in just a few steps using preset filters. That's cool. Um, so most of the stuff for ChatGPT is just basic logic, um, just learning how to logically state your answers and make sure, making sure that ChatGPT understands. Uh, remove tool, this is pretty cool. Uh, remove tool entirely, easily removes an entire object just by brushing over it and then it automatically fills in the background. That's pretty su sweet. Um, that looks like it's under the eyedropper and it's like uh, it's on the Band-Aid one. Band-Aid tool, uh, contextual taskbar. What is this? This new menu appears on the canvas with one click to the most common next action so that you can quickly complete your next step. Hmm, okay. So it kind of like selects object, huh? Okay, it does the masking. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of um, editing, editing apps that do that right now. Uh, gradients, features now, gradients. Oh, they, they have this actually in um, Illustrator. They've had this in Illustrator and um, in design for quite some time now. So that's cool that they're, it's moving along with that. Uh, create a link, get feedback faster. So I've tried Adobe Cloud before and I'm just like absolutely not a fan. So I switched between a Mac, Windows and my uh, phone and I've used it before and it's absolutely, it just like destroys my files. So I don't use that. Maybe they've changed it, but um, yeah, why are we? Okay, <laughs> I pressed, I pressed the, um, I pressed that button, getting a, your link to review. So what I have going on right now is um, I can actually bring up, um, generating file. So we're actually going to switch over to my MacBook here real quick. And um, let's see, I'm gonna put that on there, 23 topics, okay. And now I'm on my MacBook uh, screen, quick time, okay. So I'm scared, is this gonna give me a, is this going to get me a, um, Is this gonna open up Photoshop or is this, what is this gonna do? Okay, we only, I only did half the screen, but um, redirecting you, it's loading. Oh, no way, no way. Is it actually gonna load? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It actually loaded in real time. Whoa, that's crazy. That's actually, let me see if I can add like a font because I see it, it usually has issues when I add fonts. So I can close this, okay. So this is my summer font that I've been using, Mango Tango. Such a fun, fun name to put in. Okay, this is font. We're gonna mess up the, the thing. And then how do we do that? How did they go to create link, share, create link, copy. Okay. And let's add that back in there. Let's go into my Mac and go in here. So this is all on Safari right now. So I'm like surprised how well it, okay, it didn't update. Wow, okay, sweet. Did I, let's try again one more time. I saved it this time. Okay, and then go into this, go in here. I don't know if it uses unique links for, oh, no, it didn't update, come on. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, so that's that's our um, 
if anybody knows how to fix that, um, let me know. But that was a, that's pretty much a failure on my, like, I don't know. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have time to re like update it. Um, that sucks. Okay, update content. So, so there's there's a button on here that says update content. I should probably share for review, new link name, who can ask, ac access it, invite, um, and then let's go in here and do that one more time. One more, one more time. Okay. Scroll down. Yes. Dude, it's gonna shock me if it works. It's going to absolutely shock me. Yes. Hey, it worked. It worked. It worked. Update content. Okay. So the fonts, that's, that's good. That's like my favorite thing so far. Um, we're going to stop recording on this and okay. Now let's check out some of the other features. Um, generative fill. Let's try generative fill beta. Oh, I have to, oh. I hate when it has me like, oh, I hate when it does that. I hate when it does that, okay. Okay, so we did see the contextual um, taskbar in there as well. So I have a few photos that I did recently with Jules. Um, absolutely loved uh, the photo shoot, even though it was, we were kind of rushed, but um, there was one with cars on here that I didn't necessarily like. Let's see if the um, general. All right, I had to readjust my camera real quick. Oh. Okay, I had to readjust my camera real quick, so that's why it might look a little bit different. Um, so we did a photo shoot, and I wanna do some retouching. I haven't done any retouching on her um, yet, but I wanna remove this. So it looks like it was by the Band-Aid, and we used the healing, oh, I wonder, where is it? A te text bar. Um, is it on here? I just circled it. Wait, 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 wait. I think we gotta create a new layer and circle it. Is that how that works? Um, that just made a mess. Oh, we have to highlight the whole thing. Okay, let's see. Come on. That oh, <laughs> gave it a really complex one. Um, let's see if it goes straight. If I if I do it straight, it will. Hmm. Okay. It's not quite getting it. It's not understanding what it's what it's meant to do. Uh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Let's move this. So it's pretty obvious that that, um, maybe we should give it a easier, something else easier to remove. Let's see, we have these photos with Carly and this right here. I didn't notice that until now. Um, the speaker is right behind her and we're going to remove that real quick. Let's see if this can do it. Create a new layer. Oh, that actually worked. That actually worked really well. Okay, now it touches the skin. So it looks, I'm kind of careful with it. What if we? It'd be cool if this was on the pen tool because then I could like refine that a lot easier than a brush. So it did an okay job. Um, definitely if you spent more than uh, a couple minutes on it. Oh, that looks, wow. Actually, that looks great. That looks great. I'm actually happy with that. Um, we're gonna save that because I didn't notice that until just now. Um, remove background. Let's try removing background on um, another one of these photos. So I already pressed remove background just to test it out. Um, but let me see if it did it. Oh my gosh, no way. What? Oh my gosh. What? 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 That is, um, okay. So it by the hair, hair is usually like the hardest thing to mask out, but it did decent job. It did 
did pretty good. Um, if we like, wow, that did really cool. Uh, let's try it again on another photo here that we got. Um, I have a couple of the photos that I did this one let's try this one and remove background completely and turn it either we can turn it white so I think there's gonna be an issue right here with the hair and there was a little bit of issue on the left side there but um, yeah right here here's a big problem um, it looks okay let's disable this yeah, definitely missed some points, but it, it is dark on dark. So um, I think we have a few other ones that are might be a little bit easier for it to understand where the, um, yeah, all these photos are dark. So um, might be a little bit difficult. So there's right here, that part, I'm wondering if it's gonna do it, cut off a little bit of her face. So there is a little bit of work to be done, but it, of course it is beta, so. Um, that's with that. And then we also have the gradient. So I'm just going to actually remove that and try out the gradient. So, oh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Let me see if I can change the color here. Do a little bit of a... Uh, uh, let's change the color here. Change it to green. This is going to look really gross. Um, there we go. This... So yeah, this just basically changes. You can change it after the fact. You can change the gradient after the fact, fact, um, which is nice. And this is only on the gradient tool, so uh, you can go off and do that. That's cool as well. What is this? Photoshop, what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, you create adjustments? Cool. What's this? Libraries? Oh, they got a new icon for that. Okay. And then I think there was one more thing that we were trying to learn. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Import image. What? I kind of like that. The new... Uh, let's see. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this one, actually. Let's remove the background. So yeah, that's it for this update. Um, I think there were a couple tools that I didn't get to, but um, for the most part, that's, oh, I think it was like text prompts, the text prompts, yeah. What did the, um, wasn't it like this one? And then you gave it text prompts? What, what does it mean by text prompts? I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out, what it means by text prompts, because I'm not seeing any any text anywhere um, for this. I wonder if I like... So the, the neural filters are something that's that um, Adobe Photoshop has had for a while. Um, I never have had any use for them because they never download. They always say they're not uh, working or there's this wait list here as well. Um, let's see. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'm gonna let you guys go, um, but go check out the new update. I'm excited as a photographer and whatever I just create a bunch of stuff so um, literally this will probably save me a good couple hours or probably yeah probably a good couple hours um, for a set of photos so yeah I'm happy